Hey everyone, Weird Devs here. I'm gonna show you how to use Cloudflare with your website. I like to use Cloudflare because it can mitigate intense DDoS attacks. It can hide your server's real IP address. You can easily set up HTTPS without having to buy an SSL or needing to install extra software. On top of all that protection, you also get to use Cloudflare's free CDN. You don't even have to set up the CDN, it's just the moment you start using Cloudflare, all of your static images are gonna be hosted on Cloudflare servers spread across the globe. The first thing you wanna do is go to cloudflare.com, create an account account and then log in. Once you log in, you should see something like this. There should be a button that says add a site. You'll click on that. And once you see this input, you want to type in your website's domain, the website that you want to protect with Cloudflare. I have this unused domain roundbot.net, so I'll be demonstrating using that. Roundbot.net. Obviously, you don't type this, you type in your website's domain and then click on add site. After that, you'll be asked to select a plan. Free is totally fine, it's very powerful. You still get their DDoS attack protection, you still get their CDN, you still get almost all of the features pretty much. It's just with these other plans, you get a little bit more customization, but you likely won't need them. So I'll choose free and then click on confirm plan. After that, it'll do a quick DNS scan to see what records you have attached to your domain. I usually just start from a fresh slate and delete all the records because I like like to add them all myself so we'll delete this and then click continue because there are no records it's going to put this warning again it doesn't matter because i'm going to manually add everything myself so we click on confirm and then it's going to ask you to set up your domain's name servers it's really easy all you would do is go to your domain's registrar start editing your domain settings specifically the dns settings and then you should see a section for name servers we're going to use custom name servers and then add what cloudflare asked us to for name server one they want us to use this so we'll just copy and paste that i'll click this plus button for the second name server that they want us to use paste that in and then hit save it says it could take 48 hours for the change to propagate but it's usually way faster it'll probably just take me like 10 minutes once that's done you can go back to cloudflare and then click on done check name servers now it's going to ask you to choose an encryption model if you've never set up https on your server just go ahead and click on flexible but if you did buy an ssl or using something like let's encrypt you can go ahead and choose full or full strict flexible is really nice because it means you don't need to have encryption on your actual server cloudflare is already going to do the encryption for you. Down here, we're going to want to turn on always use HTTPS, unless you for some reason need HTTP. I don't know why you'd ever use that. If you don't care about your user security, go ahead and leave it off, but otherwise, just turn on always use HTTPS. For auto minify, you can just go ahead and turn all of this on. It'll shrink all of your JavaScript, CSS, and HTML files. There are some occasions where it'll break your files. This rarely happens. I haven't experienced it yet. If you notice your website's breaking, go ahead and turn these off, but for now, you can just leave it on. Broadly, go ahead and leave that on too. As it says, it speeds up your page load times. Who wouldn't want a faster website? So we'll click on done and then it'll take us to our dashboard. Right now it says that the DNS check isn't fully propagated yet. You can always click on recheck now. And once the change has propagated and you refresh the page, you should see something like this. Great news like it says, your website is now protected by Cloudflare and your CDN is activated. So now all of your images are going to be cached to Cloudflare servers, which could potentially mean your website will load faster for people around the world. There are some things you should know about your DDO protection. First off, is under attack mode. There are specific attacks that Cloudflare doesn't detect and so your website will go down because DDoS attack. If that happens, if you just click on under attack mode, it'll activate Cloudflare's max protection. And when this mode is activated, it does make your website a bit annoying to use. So the first time you would visit the website, it's going to display a captcha in order to continue to the website. Imagine something like Google's captcha, how it'll ask you to select three pictures that are trucks or choose all pictures that contain traffic lights. And only when you complete the captures when it takes you to the website. So this is nice because it's anti-bots. It's very likely that the DDoS bots are going to be able to solve the captures and only humans will get past it. You don't have to do the capture every single time you visit a page. You get a grace period, say 15 minutes or 5 minutes of being able to use the website without another capture checking you out again. This does piss people off though, so I'd really recommend turning it off unless you're actually under attack. If you're going to not use I'm under attack mode, I'd recommend using your security level on high. I wouldn't go any lower, I mean there's tons of bots out there that can easily bypass low and medium, so I wouldn't even give them the time of day. Another way to change your security level is to go into firewall, go to settings, and then you get the drop down menu again. But only ever choose I'm under attack or high. Now we need to make actual use of the domain because when we visit my test domain roundabout.net, it takes you nowhere because it's not pointing at any server. 
it's because our DNS records are empty. Let's set that up right now. So if you click on add record, for the record type, you want to choose A. For A, we're just going to put at. And for your IPv4 address, you would put in your server's IP. I created a test server real quick just for this video. So I'll put in that IP and then click on save. Now when we visit roundbot.net, it's going to forward us to the server. There we go. We now see my test website. And if you look up here, we see that we have HTTPS that says connection is secure. And then look at our JavaScript file. We'll see that it has a new header that says see if cache status hit, which means that this JavaScript file is cached on their server. I created this server in New York, and if there wasn't a CDN and somebody in China, usually it would have to travel from all the way here to there every single time they would request the picture or the JavaScript file. But all of these blue dots here are Cloudflare servers, and this JavaScript file would be copied to all of these servers. So now the people out in China, it'll just load up from one of the servers that are closer to them. Much faster response times than from all the way out here to there. Back to the topic of DDoS protection, understand that Cloudflare is only a middleman. It's just making it so that clients are not directly communicating with your server. And the way that a DDoS protection usually is that a client would spam millions of requests directly to your server and so your server would be overloaded and then stop responding. What Cloudflare does is again, step in as the middleman, but this middleman is a super bulky dude, just incredibly bulky and he can handle billions of requests. And what it will do with those billions of requests is filter through each of them and only pass in what it thinks are safe requests to your actual server. So your actual server is never going to see those billions of bad requests and voila, DDoS protection. You only get the protection if people are communicating through Cloudflare. So long as people are only attacking through your domain, that's where you get your DDoS protection. But if people somehow figure out your server's IP, that's game over. Cloudflare is nothing because now people don't need to talk to Cloudflare. They can just send their request straight to the server IP. You really need to make sure that your server IP does not get leaked. Unfortunately, there is a tool out there that makes it really easy to expose a server's IP. All you would do is go to census.io slash IPv4 and then you would type in your target domain, which in my case would be roundbot.net. Because this website is practically brand new, there are no results for it, but give it a few days with my current server setup and the IP will eventually be exposed and you'll see results something like this. It's going to just flat out display your server's IP address, it'll display where it's located, and it'll display your server's host. This is horrible news and you need to make sure you take the steps to bypass this. So the way that Census.io works is, they test every possible IP address and then they check among a list of every possible domain and if that server IP address supports any of those domains, it knows that this server is related to that domain and so it's listed and with a server supporting a domain it can be implied that the server is the host to that website thankfully this is really easy to patch so long as you're using cloudflare all you gotta do is make it so that your server only responds to cloudflare if you go to cloudflare.com ips you'll see a list of ip addresses that cloudflare uses so to make it that your server only accepts ip addresses from cloudflare the idea would be to use their http servers such as nginx or apache to deny all incoming ip addresses and then whitelist these IP addresses. I'll show you a quick example using Nginx. Unfortunately, I can't show you an example using an Apache because I'm not that well experienced with Apache. So nano slash etc slash Nginx slash Nginx.conf. So just under the configuration includes, I'm going to deny all incoming IP addresses by writing deny all. And then under that, I'm going to whitelist all of the IP addresses listed here. So I'll copy that IP and then type in allow and then paste that in. And same thing for every other IP and it'll eventually look something like this. What you do then is press Ctrl X to save, enter Y, and then you would restart your HTTP server. And with Nginx on CentOS 8, that would be service Nginx restart. Now because your server will only ever respond to Cloudflare, that'll make scraper tools like Census useless. And if they already have your data from a previous scraping because you failed to do this on time, the next time they do their scraping, they'll just remove your data. They're thankfully very nice about it. They don't just keep a log of past IPs. Seeing that they do that good thing, I don't think that they made this tool to be malicious, but rather to be educational. So if you could avoid using it for malicious purposes. Server admins like me would really appreciate that. We don't enjoy being ddos I've had my fair share. You don't want to go through it, so make sure you do what I just told you to do. Block all IPs except for Cloudflare. So that's pretty much the end of this video. Your website now has HTTPS encryption, and all you had to do was go to SSL and turn on flexible. That's like no work. You click a couple buttons. 
and just for using Cloudflare at all, you already have an automatic CDN, so they're going to start automatically caching your images or JavaScript files and serve it from their servers worldwide. And again, just for using Cloudflare at all, you get DDoS protection, assuming your server IP is not being leaked. You only get the DDoS protection so long as people are using your website through Cloudflare. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. I'd greatly appreciate that. And if you're interested in more website development videos like this one, consider subscribing because there's definitely more coming.